Hello Lynx Riders! When it comes to fine-tuning your sled for that perfect ride, there is one topic that cannot be ignored. Suspension setup. My name is Janne Tapio, welcome to my Lynx Masterclass. Setting the sag is the first step of suspension setup. Sag is the amount of suspension travel used when you are sitting on your snowmobile in a natural riding position with full riding gear and cargo you are carrying. Sag impacts how the rear suspension works and that way affects balance, performance and control of your sled. This is the PPS3 rear suspension found on the Lynx Rave RE and Xterrain RE models. It is an independent rear suspension with long travel and high capacity shocks. In the PPS3 rear suspension, the optimal sag is 95 mm. Less than that, the sled may feel too firm, uncomfortable and unstable. Steering might feel heavy. More than 95 mm and the suspension will not use its full capacity on rough trails because of too low ride height. This also affects steering capacity making steering less responsive. To measure the sack, we measure the distance between the upper rear arm pivot bolt and crown when the suspension is fully extended. After this step, the rider sits on the sled with full riding gear and cargo and we measure the same distance again. At this point, a friend's help may be needed. The difference between the first and second measurement is your sack. If the sag is less than 95 mm, decrease the preload of the rear spring by loosening the locking ring and then turning the adjustment ring by one turn. After adjusting the preload of the spring, measure again, adjust until you get the optimal 95 mm sag. Make sure that you always have some preload on the spring when the suspension is fully extended. You should never loosen the adjustment ring beyond the free length of the spring. If the starting sag measurement is more than 95 mm, increase the preload of the rear spring by tightening the adjustment ring by one turn. Then remeasure and adjust as needed. Remember to tighten the locking ring after adjustment. The standard rear spring on the PPS3 is 60 newtons per millimeter. If the rider with full riding gear and cargo weights more than 100 kilos, and the 95mm sag is not obtained, it's recommended to replace the standard rear spring with the firmer 65 Newton per millimeter spring. We have now set the optimal sag for the PPS3 rear suspension and we are ready to ride. If you want to learn more about suspension setup, see my videos about limiter strap adjustment and shock adjustment. See you on the trail!